Hi everyone. Today on 8th day of April 2018, we are here to present the solution of JEE mains 2018. The subject that I am going to take is physics and the code that I have is code C. In code C, physics started with question number 61 and in question number 61, there is a very remarkable thing. The question has been brought from the topic diffraction and you know diffraction is a topic which is present only in JEE mains. So in other words, by this question, you have the DNA of JEE mains where you get a question which is specifically in JEE mains and not in JEE advance. Let's begin. The question is from diffraction as I said and it says the angular width of central maximum in a single slit diffraction pattern is 60 degree. On the basis of this particular data, I can in fact come out to some conclusion and let me try to see those conclusion here. Let me try to draw a rough pattern of a diffraction experiment, a single slit here and here is the screen. Now, if I just show the central maximum, it comes something like this. So here is the central maximum and the angle is 60 degree. So the angle with respect to the central line is going to be 30 degree. And here the width of the slit, let me call this particular width to be D, the regular notation. Now, what is the information that we can draw is something like this here. And it comes something here, D sine 30 degree is equal to 1 times lambda. I directly wrote it d sin theta equals to 1 lambda is the position of the first minimum. In other words, we are trying to see the width of the central maximum here. And just putting the value d is 1 micrometer. So I can write lambda equals to d divided by 2 and that is 1 micrometer divided by 2. Let me try to bring it in some you know easy format here lambda is 10 raised to the power minus of 6 that is meter and I'll just multiply it by 10 raised to the power 10 divided by 2. By doing this I will be bringing the wavelength in angstrom. Now let me just go for a simple calculation. It is 10 raised to the power 4 divided by 2. So that comes out to be 10 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 2 angstrom and the value will straightforward be equals to 5000 angstrom. All right, now once you knew the value of lambda from this particular data, let's try to see what is the second part of the question we haven't solved yet. The second part of the question says, say, if another slit of same width is made near it, Young's fringes can be observed on a screen placed at a distance 50 centimeter from the slits. In other words, there is a screen which is 50 centimeter from the slits. So it's something like this. I'll just try to make a Young's double slit experiment here. And this is the regular pattern. And here is the screen. So this is the screen here. And just for the reference, let me check out the value. It says at a distance 50 centimeter from the slits. In other words, the slit to screen distance is 50 centimeter. So let's see here. To find out that particular distance, what I would be doing is here is this particular thing, and this distance is given to be 50 centimeter. And of course, a Young's double slit, and here is the source will take it to be symmetrical, although not specified, that can easily be concluded. And now, what is the question? If the observed fringe width is one centimeter, so it's a regular question, right? The fringe width and the formula for the fringe width. Now here, since D has already been reserved for the width of the slit, so I will be taking the value or the notation for this to be D dash. And this is the regular convention that is capital D. And the fringe width here is lambda D divided by 
t dash. Now, let's just try to put the value of beta and beta comes out to be 5000 angstrom. So, 5000 angstrom, be careful of the unit and you see capital D is 50 centimeter divided by D dash. And another thing the value of beta also has been given and the value of beta here is at a distance 50 centimeter from the slits, the observed fringe width is 1 centimeter. So, let me just put the value of beta which is 1 centimeter. So, here I will be getting 1 centimeter is equal to 5000 angstrom multiplied by 50 centimeter divided by d dash and the question is in fact demanding the value of d dash, the separation between the slits. After putting all those value, be careful with the unit. The value of d dash, what we will get is 25 micrometer. That is a very straightforward solution. So, option number 4 is going to be the right answer for question number 61. Now, let us proceed to question number 62.